All right, last week we finished type two, right? So we said uh, to apply L'Hopital's rule, there are, you know, you first you have to make sure that you get a zero over zero or infinity over infinity, right? So that's the only way you can use L'Hopital's rule. And then we said, what if it doesn't look like that? And then we have three types. Uh, type one was we had, uh, what was it? Uh, zero times infinity or what is it? Uh, zero times negative infinity, that was type one. So that was like zero times infinity and zero times negative infinity. And then type two we said was infinity minus infinity and then we cannot say that it is zero because you don't know which infinity is bigger. Okay, so we finished type two. We didn't do type three. Type three is something to a power. So like zero to a zero or infinity to zero or one to the infinity. So something to a power. Oh, so that's why we don't figure out the homework. Yes, that's why you couldn't do the homework. Okay. All right. No, no, no. I didn't teach you yet. Okay, so that's the third type. Again, no matter what happens, if you want to apply L'Hopital's rule, the only time L'Hopital's rule can apply is if you have zero over zero or infinity over infinity. Other than that, you cannot do it. Okay, but there are clues of this is where you might want to use L'Hopital's rule if you can get it to look like L'Hopital's rule. Okay? All right. Anytime you see a power to a power, think uh, log. Because we're going to have to get that thing that is variable down. So we're going to have to use log. Okay, so for example, limit of uh, x, x goes to 0 of 1 minus 5x to the 3 over x. All right, so what happens if we put 0 in right now? 1 minus 5 times 0 to the 3 over 0. That is 1 to the infinity. So the question is, is 1 to the infinity 1? No. No, we don't know. Because there is a, an, something an undefined, so we don't know what's going to happen. Okay, so what we want to do is we need to somehow get that thing that's moving. You, you see how in the exponent there's an x, so that means it's moving. we got to get it down. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, tricky thing here. We're going to make y equals 1 minus 5x to the 3x. And what I'm going to do is... We're looking for the limit as x goes to 0. So basically, we're looking for the limit of y. Um, but we have this problem in the exponent. So what I'm going to do is get that, that uh, 3 over x down. OK, anytime you apply log, remember you can move the exponent down as the coefficient. All right, usually at this point we take derivative, but we're not going to take any derivative. We are looking for the limit. Okay, so we want the limit as x goes to 0 of natural log y, which is the limit as x goes to 0 of 3 over x, natural log 1 minus 5x. Okay, remember what we're doing right now is we see this 1 to the infinity, and we're saying, well, what is it? Is it 1? Is it zero? Is it infinity? What is it? We don't know, and we know that is a sign that we're probably going to use the L'Hopital's rule. But we can only use L'Hopital's rule if it's zero over zero or infinity over infinity. So we got to make it look like zero over zero or infinity over infinity. OK, so I'm going to put the denominator and the numerator together separately. <coughs> What happens if I put in 0 right now? 0 over 0. Right? Natural log of, so if I put in 0 right now, I get 3 natural log 1 minus 0 over 0. Natural log 1 is 0, so then we just get 0 over 0. 
So that means use low p-tiles rule. Okay, how do I use low p-tiles rule? <laughs> Don't remember. Take the derivative of the top, take the derivative of the bottom. Okay, so limit is still the same. Take derivative of the top. Okay, so three times the derivative of natural log is one over whatever that is. Do a chain rule, so multiply by a negative five. It's kind of coming back. No. Just negative five. Right? Negative five, yeah. Derivative of the bottom, just one. So this is just limit as x goes to zero of negative 15 over one minus five x. All right, now let's put in zero. Negative 15. Is negative 15 the answer? No, remember, what did we just find? The limit of log y. We want the limit of y, right? We changed the problem so it's easier to do, but um, we don't want the limit of y, uh, natural log y, we want the limit of y. So this is the limit of natural log y. So how do I just find y? Yeah, so raise both sides by e. So net limit as x goes to zero of y is e to the negative 15. In the answer? Yes. Anytime you have a something to something power, remember that you're going to have to get it down. If that exponent has an x. All right, let's have you try one. Limit as x goes to infinity of e to the, sorry, x to the e to the negative x. Okay, we got variables in the exponents, right? So what do we need to do? We gotta get it down by log. log. Okay, so y is equal to x to the e to the negative x. So we gotta take natural log on both sides. All right, what comes down? That's the question. Which part comes down as the coefficient? E to the negative x. Good, e to the negative x. Okay, remember we still want the limit. So limit as x goes to infinity of natural log y is equal to limit as x goes to infinity of e to the negative x natural log x. Remember, we want to get it to look like L'Hopital's rule, which means we need to have a denominator over a denominator. I have two things multiplied together right now, so that's not going to work. How do I get it to look like a quotient question? Yeah. So this is limit as x goes <coughs> to infinity of natural log x over e to the x. You're next to Rachel. Ooh. Okay, now, if I put in infinity right now, what do I get? Uh, huh? Infinity over infinity. infinity over infinity. Okay, so what does that mean? Infinity over infinity means I can use low p tiles rule. All right, low p tiles rule says take the derivative of the top, take the derivative of the bottom. Okay, 1 over x over e to the x. Okay, now plug in um, infinity. 1 over infinity over e to the infinity. 1 over infinity is what? 0. E to the infinity is? Infinity, what is that? Zero. Is 
that is okay. Yes. Yes. Question. Uh. Uh. Hold on. Jessica. Jessica. Can you do to go back to? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, darn it. I knew I forgot something. Natural log y is zero. So we want e to the zero. So limit as x goes to infinity of y is one. Um, I don't know. I don't know for sure. Because you already substituted, but just to make sure like it's clear, I guess. Okay, let's try another one with sine and cosine, because those are kind of tricky. Okay, let's try this one. Oops. Right here. Limit as x goes to 0 plus of x to the x. Okay, so I'm gonna help you out a little bit. Um, if you plug in zero right now, where you're gonna, what's gonna happen? Zero, zero times zero. Infinity. infinity, right? So that is not the indeterminate form for L'Hopital's rule. How do we change it into like a zero over zero or infinity over infinity? We're gonna have to bring that x down. Right? Yeah, we're gonna have to bring that x down. So kind of look at the previous notes. We said, oh, when we have a zero times infinity, what do we do to make it look like a quotient? That was like a type uh, type one, I think. So what we're gonna do is change this like that. Now we force it to look like infinity over infinity. Okay, now apply L'Hopital's rule. Okay, let me know when you're done. Apply L'Hopital's rule. Please make sure you keep the limit sign on there. So uh, this is 1 over x over negative 1 over x squared. If you just plug in 0 right now, you're going to forever get infinity over infinity. You know, you can keep taking the L'Hopital's rule forever and never get to anywhere. So what you want to do is um, simplify this. Okay, plug in 0 which is zero. So now limit as x goes to zero plus of natural log y is equal to zero. So that means the limit as x goes to zero plus of y is just one. Limit as x goes to zero plus of one plus sine four x to the cotangent x. That sounds crazy, but let's just plug it in and see what happens. Oh, or let you copy down the question first. <laughs> yeah, this one's in the book. All right, so let's plug in zero. One plus sine of four times zero to the cotangent of zero. Okay, sine of four times zero, or sine of zero is what? Zero. zero. Okay, so that's one plus zero. Cotangent zero. Cotangent zero is one over co uh, tangent of zero. Uh, cosine over sine, right? So cosine zero over sine zero. One over zero is indeterminate, or just infinity. So this is infinity. So this, this is one to the infinity. One to the infinity. So the question is, is it one or is it something else? Not necessarily. Not necessarily, correct. So we need to um, solve this question by natural log. Okay, anytime you have something to a power and that power is changing because it has x, you have to um, do a natural log thing. Okay, so y is equal to one plus sine 4x to the cotangent x. All right, what should we do? What should we do? Natural log. Natural log, good. Natural log y is equal to 
natural log 1 plus sine 4x to the cotangent x. What's next? Uh, we don't have to do that yet. Okay, Put, move cotangent to the coefficient. All right, next. We want the limit. So limit as x goes to 0 plus of natural log y is equal to na uh, limit as x goes to 0 plus of cotangent x natural log 1 plus sine 4 x. All right. Now, if I plug in 0 right now, what do I get? Infinity. Infinity times? 1, oh, 0. Infinity times 0, because this part is going to be infinity, this part is going to be 0. So that's an um, indication that we probably can change it to L'Hopital's rule, but not at this point. We've got to change it into a indeterminate form, which is a 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. So how do I do that? Inverse cotangent. Uh, not inverse, but reciprocal. Yes. So natural log of 1 plus sine 4x. Cotangent is the same as 1 over tangent, so that's just tangent. Now, if I plug in 0, what do I get? Uh, before I do that, I have to prove that I can use L'Hopital's rule. So if I plug in zero, what do I get? Zero, zero over zero. Okay, now use L'Hopital's rule. Okay, take the derivative of the top, take the derivative of the bottom. So go ahead and do that. All right, so L'Hopital's rule. Okay, one over one plus sine four x times cosine four x times 4 over secant square x. Okay, now before you try to simplify anything, just plug in 0 and just try it. If, you know, everything clears out, then you're good. You really don't need to um, do anything else. So go ahead and plug in 0 and see what the limit is. All right, so let's plug in 0. 1 over 1 plus sine of 4 times 0 of cosine 4 times 0 times 4 over secant square of 0. Okay, anytime you have a cosine or a secant of 0, uh, it's just 1. So this is 1 over 1 times 1 times 4 over 1. So that's just 4. But we're not done. Limit as x goes to 0 plus of natural log y is 4. So what is the limit as x goes to 0 plus of just y? e to the fourth. <coughs> OK, let's have you try one. This one. OK, everybody, come back y equals sine x to the tangent x. Take natural log of both sides. Tangent x, natural log, sine x. OK, I want the limit as x goes to 0 of natural log y, which is the limit as x goes to 0 of tangent x, natural log, sine x. OK, so if I plug in 0 right now, I am just going to get uh, 0 times infinity. So that is not an indeterminate form for L'Hopital's rule. So I need to do something to make it look like that. So I am going to change this to natural log sine x over cotangent x. This will give me 
infinity over infinity. So that is good. I can apply L'Hopital's rule. Remember, if you don't get it to look like L'Hopital's rule, don't use L'Hopital's rule. You're going to get yourself into a lot of problems. OK, now take derivative. So that is uh, limit as x goes to 0 of 1 over sine times cosine over uh, negative secant squared x. OK, now plug in, well, let's clean this up a little bit. Oh, wait, it's not secant. Cosecant. Sorry. OK, so this is cosine over sine times uh, secant, that's uh, so negative sine squared. Cancel, cancel. That is limit as x goes to 0 of negative sine cosine. So then plug in 0, you just get 0. OK, remember we're not done. We found the limit of natural log y. I need the limit of just y. So then the limit as x goes to 0 of y is 1. OK, let's do one more. OK, remember, you got to make it look like L'Hopital's rule before you can apply L'Hopital's rule. So don't just uh, take derivative if it doesn't look like L'Hopital's rule. 